Now, over the past 20 years, there are only two private condominium developments located, which is in close proximity to the Amokyo MRT station. And Grandior 8 condominium is one of them. Now, property number today is at Grandior 8, and we're going to share with you why we think this project is one of the hidden gems. So, let's go. This was developed by NTUC Choice Home, completed in the year 2005. Now the land is now in a year leasehold starting from year 2002. And for Grandeur 8, there's a total of 579 units packed into the two, three, and four bidders configuration that's spread over the eight blocks right here. Now you have three different distinct facings. You will be either looking towards the pool. The other facing is fronting towards the entrance zone. And that's where the driveway towards the security entrance is located. The other facing will be facing towards external facing that's fronting more towards Yochu Kang. This particular unit is located within the corner stack of block 10. I would say that your main facing will be fronting towards the facility zone. So let's have a look at what you see from a balcony. The moment that you walk out to your living room balcony, you get to see this view. So we are located on a considerably a mid-section unit. Right here, you get a very good view of the main lab pool. You get to see these two slides that I think your kids will enjoy. There is also another empty plot of land. So for this two plot of land, it is zoned residential on the URA 2020 master plan. So this two plots uh, in future, if it's launched, I'm not sure how much it's going to be. I'm guessing it might probably be in the launch per square foot pricing of between a thousand six to probably close to two thousand dollars per square foot looking at how things are going within uh, the OCR and RCR region right now. Alright, so looking at the price behaviours, if you are looking for a private condominium development in District 20, let's just bring out some comparatives within this area itself. Now, if I were to look at what is available right now within walking distance and proximity to Amokyo MRT station, Central Residences is already doing at about $1,005 to $1,600 per square foot. So Central Residence is slightly different because it's built on a smaller plot of land. The facilities are spread over the different sky terraces within the project itself. Grandeur 8 right now is trading between $1,000 or $1,100 per square foot in terms of the current asking and transacted pricing. This particular 2 plus study at 1130 square feet, it has been fully renovated just in the year 2017. So of course, if you were to look at the entire landscape, Amokyo is slightly at the border of the RCR and OCR belt. So the RCR zone actually cuts uh, in between District 20. So Amokyo actually is at the commencement of the OCR zone, but it's still in very close proximity to Bishan. Bishan right now for Skyview is already doing at about $1,700 per square foot. Uh, Sky Habitat is about $1,500 per square foot. Even the older Bishan 8 condominium, which was developed in the 1990s, that is already doing at about $1,200 plus dollars per square foot. Even Bishan Loft, which used to be an EC, is also trading at about $1,001 plus to $1,200 per square foot. Now, if you are to look at other choices available, uh, in Amokyo, you can go further down to Mayflower MRC station that will be done soon. You have Panorama which is right now doing at about $1,500 to $1,700 per square foot. In Mature Town, this is the only place that you can find that the entire central township is spread uh, across the low-rise HDB shop houses and of course with the Amokyo hub being the pivot right across the MRT station. Not only can you shop at Amokyo hub, you also have a lot of different malls like Broadway Plaza. Of course, you have the Amokyo Public Library right across Grandeur 8 and uh, Nanyang Poly is just right across us. So, I think that Grandeur 8 is located in a very strategic location with a host of amenities right here. So maybe right now, let's have a look at the layout first and then we'll check more along the way. We are standing in a 11302 plus study layout right here in Grandeur 8. So the moment you enter this 1130 square feet 2 plus study, you will notice that there's this open plan kitchen. Now this was done purposefully because our owners prefer an open plan kind of layout. So what they have done is they have removed that wall plus entrance zone for the original kitchen. You do have choice 
to put back a glass panel over here at this island top. So our quotation is done. We have 3D images for you to visualize. Thereby, after putting the glass panel, you can also have like a sliding glass door right here. So moving on towards the foyer zone, you will get to see that there's like four panels of shoe cabinet space. This is in conjunction with a DB box. Foyer is just nice. Marble flooring throughout, all the way towards the bedrooms. Bedrooms have solid parquet timber. There's this nice beautiful brick wall that is done. So this spreads across all the way towards the balcony space. This uh, open island top is done with black galaxy finish as the top. You have no sacrifice in terms of the kitchen cabinetry space because over at the bottom portion, you have like pull out storage space over here. You also have a lot of uh, different combinations of pull out drawers plus uh, open cabinet system. This rack is here, it looks almost really new. So the sink is also done with granite material. Bosch induction cooker over here towards um, the ventilation window. You have a proper yard space over here that you can still do proper natural ventilation clothes drying with clothes drying racks right here. You still have like this aircon latch here that you can utilize for your natural clothes drying space as well. On top of the proper yard space, you have a home shelter which is pretty deep. The racks has all been done. This will stay for the new owner. And this space here is just nice for your washer come dryer to be stacked on top. Internal refuse system is over here. You don't have to head out to throw a refuse. We love the fact that this open kitchen really overlooks towards your dining space, your living space, so it's great for interaction. Now, of course, not to waste the dining space is that there is this entire storage capability right at the back. So you have like a lot of space for your kids' toys. Here, you can go up to like six-seater. If you are a small family and you don't really need like huge kitchen space, you can remove the entire dining space, put in high stools, over at this direction. This unit gets to enjoy this additional step-up space over here. So because of this roof ledge that is above us, you get to enjoy this additional uh, roof space that you have. So the owners has designed a motorized drying rack system over here. So this is like the bonus that you have. So you can dry your clothes here. If you want to do it at the back of the yard, it's like additional balcony space as well that you can have. This living room space can allow you to fit up to like a four-seater or maybe an L-shaped kind of uh, sofa version. You can of course lengthen it all the way if you don't have a piano at home. TV console space is really done beautifully with bottom glass and closed cabinets. There's also this rainbow blinds that has been done. So this will stay for you. This gives you like full privacy. You want partial privacy with brightness coming in. This can be done as well. Now some things that we notice about this apartment at Grandior 8 is that the kitchen cabinets are all done with bloom system. And for the MRT track near Amokyo Central, right now noise reduction barriers has been set up. Naturally, staying near Central and MRT Station in Singapore means that there are bound to be road traffic noise at times in exchange for the added convenience. And of course, buying a renovated unit saves you time and puts more cash in your pocket because the existing reno is built into your purchase price and not extra hard cash on top of the down payment. So for example, if you're buying a unit with renovation at say $1.22 million, compared to another unit without renovation say at $1.12 million, the difference in cash is actually quite significant looking at the chart above. You have your common bathroom on my left hand side. So originally on the right side, this used to be the entrance towards the study room. So it has been remodeled into a walk-in closet for the master room itself. But of course, in future, there are future possibilities if you want to reinstate it. So we have the quotation really on how much does it cost to remove this partition wall over here because the original door frame is still intact within. So let's have a look at the master room first. 
is really great in size. Can just feel the size based on where I'm standing here. You still have so much room to go. The bed seems pretty small. It's a full scale queen bed. You can go up to a king or super king. You have like so much room here for you to slide and glide. The bathroom size for this ensuite in the master is fantastic. It's being redone with a sliding glass panel door uh, towards your ensuite. You have a lot of room here to go. Standing shower are done with fittings with the Grow Hay branding. I think most of the, the ensuite, uh, they're also getting a little bit tighter. So I would say that this size is a sure uh, luxury in one of the projects that was developed in the early 2000s. So coming back to the master, um, they have also done like a dressing table concept over here with two side tables that has been done. So of course you can work on the master room itself. This used to be the study that you can enter from the walkway towards this study room. So what the owners have done is that because they don't really need a study, they have converted it into like a full-scale walk-in closet concept with built-in car pantry that's already been done. So this has its own full set of windows. So in future, if you want to convert this room back into a study room for the family, all you need to do is just to close back this wall here and then open up that entrance with the door frame still intact. So you have proper drop-down windows over here. The blinds has already been done. It only cost probably less than $2,000 to reinstate this study room. We have the quotation as mentioned. And uh, let's head on to bedroom number two, which is also very huge in size. Right now, this is a super single. You can go definitely up to a queen or maybe a king as well because this wall is definitely wide enough to fit in a king bed. And it has a corner window with a four panel window right in this direction so this is the wardrobe space it's also flush within the wall line so it does not jut up you also have this additional portion here that is done with full scale bookshelf system so with uh, open shelving closed cabinetry at the bottom so what we see here in this layout is that you get two very good sized bedrooms additional option of reinstating the study room back in future but most importantly is that you got to enjoy the entire 1130 square feet with not much wasted space so why don't we head back and then let's have a look at the facilities so the moment you enter Grandeur 8, you will notice that there are ample visitors slot located within the left and right side of the security guard post. Grandeur is done with basement parking that leads all residents towards your main lobbies, the full-scale basketball court and tennis court as well. The function room looks like a floating pavilion that is flush right beside the main lab pool. A lot of kids' pool space, the two main slides that kids will love to have. There are a lot of open lawn area with sun that's located for residents to enjoy plus a full-scale gym. The barbecue pits are located as part of the open pavilion space. So last but not least, you'll also be surprised to find that the maintenance fee is only at 270 odd dollars per month and that includes the GST and sinking fund. So that's really reasonable for a 1130 square feet unit. On top of that, schools over here, you have Jingshan Primary School, Anderson Secondary, uh, NYP is right opposite. Anderson Serangoon Junior College is also within close proximity. If you want to head over to parks over the weekend, because you have the gigantic Amokyo Bishan Park. I think most importantly, you're buying something that is of a very reasonable quantum price at 1.2 odd million dollars for a good sized apartment at only less than $1,100 per square foot. So it's a safe entry price whether you're a young couple, young family with one to two kids, or you're just looking to upgrade for your current HDB property into a private property within a fantastic locale located within close proximity to the Amo MRT station. So feel free to give a call to our listings manager. The link and number is right located in the description box right down below. And uh, once again, thank you for coming with us on Grandeur 8 Home Tour. My name is Melvin Lim. As always, we're happy to show you the place. And that facing is facing towards an empty plot of land. We'll share more. What's the other I dip into how the layout was being. So later we'll 